My name is Stacy Miles, and I'm a physical therapist here at Children's Hospital. I'm joined in our new unit by an occupational therapist, speech therapist, and audiologist. We are here to assist the NICU staff and help promote your infant's development while they are with us. One of the things we focus on is good positioning. This is important when your infant is sleeping and eating. Good developmental positioning encourages flexion and midline. Babies are less stressed, grow faster, and can learn the most about their environment while they are in this position. Swaddling is a great way to keep your baby in midline. We hope you will continue to promote this type of positioning when you are at home, but when your infant is sleeping, you must follow the recommendations that prevent SIDS. Your infant must be on their back on a firm surface with a blanket at shoulder level and no toys or objects in the crib. One of the reasons we want you to position your baby is so that they can have a symmetrical head shape. This is important for more than just cosmetic reasons. Often, premature infants keep their heads turned to the right and develop skull flattening on that side, which is also known as plagiocephaly. Infants who have required lots of respiratory support can have narrow heads because they have laid with their head turned to the side for several weeks called scaphalocephaly. Here we have a picture of both. As you can see, plagiocephaly, the infant has a flattened spot on the right side. You can see that the right ear is also a little bit farther forward and sometimes the head, the forehead is protruding so that the eyes are not aligned. In scaphalocephaly, you can see the elongated shape of the infant's skull. At home, we want you to encourage your baby to hold his head in midline if he is laying on his back. Make sure his head can turn to both sides equally. Encourage your baby to look to the left by placing toys, mirrors, or you on the left side. When checking to make sure that your infant can turn their head to both sides, please do so gently. But remember, do not try to change their sleeping postures. You cannot place anything around your infant's head while he or she is sleeping. Only work on head positioning when your child is awake. Also, when your infant is awake, it is time to play on their tummy. Where should you do this? Your baby needs a firm surface. This can be a blanket on the floor or a play mat, the crib mattress, or a pack and play. Your child starts developing fine motor skills in this position. It is also important for developing head control. While playing on their belly, flattening of the back of the head can be reduced and also helps reduce plagiocephaly. So how long should your infant be on the belly? Attempt tummy time four times a day for a few minutes. A young infant should not be allowed to cry in this position. Even if they've only been there for 30 seconds, try again another time. If your baby has a G-tube, hernia, ostomy, or any other belly issues, please ask to speak to one of the therapists so that we can help you position your baby. Infants who were born prematurely need to have their age corrected for development. What does this mean? If your baby was born prematurely, we do not expect his development to be the same as an infant born at term. When your baby was born, it was not able to do what a term baby could do, so we correct or adjust age and while we look at development. How do you figure this out? The easiest way is to start counting forward from your due date. If your due date was January 1st, then your baby should be doing six month skills in June. It doesn't matter that your baby was actually born in November. You should correct your baby's age until they are two to three years old. If you ever become concerned about your baby's development, please talk to your pediatrician. Don't wait. The earlier the problem is identified, the better the outcome. But even research shows the most important thing is love. No therapy can override the love of a parent. You are the most important person to your baby.